I have a pen. Wow. I have an apple. I mean, it's pretty darn uh, close. Apple pen. That I have a pen. Right I have pineapple. Oh, dude. Uh, pineapple pen. Apple pen. Pineapple oh, grass pen. Burn. Uh, pineapple hey, what's up, guys? Nick here. And today we're going to be fishing on the Sacramento River for small mouth bass, spotted bass, and even those crossbreeds, those mean mouth. Um, we're launching out of an area called Vieras, which is just right across from Rio Vista, California. It's that whole Isleton area. Uh, basically right out from the ramp, all the way headed up towards Sacramento is good smallmouth water from Steamboat Slough to the main Sacramento River to Georgiana Slough. There's a lot of smallmouth in that area. It's not known for huge smallmouth, but a, a two pound smallmouth is about equivalent to like a four pounder in a lake, but it is absolutely chock full of fish and it's quite easy to have 100 plus fish days here. Matt and I are gonna search around, look what we can find, show you what baits we're catching them on and hopefully refine you guys along the way. So let's have some fun. Giant. Got him cranking. Small mouth. Our initial plan was to cover a lot of bank fast with reaction baits, with moving baits, spinner baits, um, underspins, to try to find those bigger active fish in the morning. Those low light hours of smallmouth are going to be much more willing to run down a bait. Um, we started catching small ones right off the bat, so we knew it was time to uh, start bouncing like a ball head jig off the bottom, and uh, we started running into some fish at that point. A little smallmouth on the armor craw. I'll take it. Spotted bass. <laughs> Feels good. It's good. It's good. Oh yeah, it's good. Good fish. There's a better one. You're right, Matt. You called that. You called that, didn't you, Matt? <laughs> That's a good smallmouth there. I didn't bring a net either. No I can't boat flip him. I'm gonna take my time with him. A couple pounds. That's a great one. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That Biwa Armor Crawl and a little ball head jig. Two and a half pounder right there. I'll take it. <laughs> Look at that hanging right out of his mouth. Beautiful. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. So we're covering, uh, you know, basically bridge piling. It's not really a piling, it's more like a giant cement footer. Uh, Matt's throwing blades on a lot of this stuff, and he's got a lot of his bigger ones there. I'm throwing a little quarter ounce ball head. Uh, I think that's a 2-0 hook on there with a little miniature Biwa armor craw. I got 30 pound braid and I got about a three and a half uh, foot, 15 pound, 100% P-line fluorocarbon leader. And the reason why I like throwing a spinning rod up to these, it doesn't matter the depth, you could pitch up and hit it and you just leave your clutch open, you know, leave your bail open and just let it free fall down it. If they're hunkered right up against it, it's gonna free fall right in front of their face. Watch to see if your line stops all of a sudden. They'll grab it on the way down, it'll stop. See if it changes directions. Click over, reel up on them. And with an exposed little jig head like that, it's, it's gonna do the work. That little light wire hook's gonna plant right into them. Popper up against the river. <laughs> Literally. Watch right it, watch it, watch it. Got it? You can see that little corner right there behind us. I, I threw up and wrapped around in behind that little shade pocket on the other side of that pillar. And that fish didn't hit this bait until that bait got right up, trapped up against the pillar, and it literally pinned it against the pillar. Pretty awesome bite. Smallmouth. Oh, 
yeah! Matt, you're up front. Here's one. Fishing out a little deeper with that ball head and that armor craw again. Oh, look at him run. Look at him run. Oh, it's a spot? Is that a spot or a smolly? Spot. Yeah. Yeah. It could be a hybrid. Nice fish. Oh, that is a nice fish, dude. Yeah. That's a crossbreed. Isn't That's it? a hybrid, yeah. Crossbreed. This is a spotted bass slash smallmouth crossbreed that was not going anywhere. I got him through the nose. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> hey, look at that hook set, dude. Oh, let me explain this fish to you right here. If you see this white line right here, all right, and he's mostly brown, but you could still see some of the black spotching, and you can still see stripes across the gill. He's got a shorter mouth. And right here on top of his tongue, there's a rough spot. Little like little teeth on the tongue. That is the trait of a spotted bass, but usually a spotted bass is much lighter with black spotches. But you can see this guy's got a lot of brown. He's got that rough patch on his tongue. It's a smallmouth slash spot hybrid. Another pounder. Done yet? Done yet. That's a spot. That's, that's dude, a, it's another one? No, that's a spot. No, it's another hybrid. Look yeah, at this. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the stripes. That's so sweet. You can just see the small mouth mm -hmm. wanting to come out in them. <laughs> dude, another chunky little guy right there. That's not bad. Whoa. Try to let them settle down. Get some decent ones in there. I want to replace those all with uh, two and a half to three and a half pounders. We'll see what happens today. I'm, I'm, I'm wacky rigging this fish. Yeah. We're wacky. Wacky, wacky rig. Wacky rig the catch. Wow. Giant. In the boat. Get in the boat. Yeah, that's a that's a double. Oh, crawdad. That. That's a double. Did he spit up? Oh yeah. Good good time to look at that. Go ahead and show them on the side of the boat. Uh -huh. Let me show him our double first. I'm to get my hand on him. Oh, well, he's got the... Show him our double. Oh, he swallowed it? Yeah, let me show you the bait real quick, though. I got one behind me here. Gee, 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 gee. So, he's throwing that on a, on a flick shake head, but... If you take a look over here, I'm using the Biwa Armored Craw here. I'm using it on a flick shake head. And if you look down here on the edge of the boat, there's what they're eating. It's the tail of a crawdad. You kind of see a little bit of color color similarities through there. There's, there could be a little more orange in this, but we're we're pretty close, and we're getting a lot of bites on that. That Biwa little armor cross coming through today. So my buddy Travis Averill, uh, I was showing him the pattern of the crawdads that we were finding that they were spitting up. And when you see this crawdad in the lighter orange with some white in them, we're just coming out of a full moon about three days ago. So a lot of these juvenile crawdads, these couple inch, three inchers, they molt a whole lot more often during the full moon. So he's like, oh, I got a molting 3XD uh, Strike King diving crankbait like this in a, like a couple inches. So if you look at this and compare to that, I mean, it's pretty darn close. You know, they, in the cleaner the water, you get into when you're in these clean rivers like this matching the hatch is absolutely imperative and that's exactly what we're doing hang with us guys we'll be right back attention northern california anglers have you been to boat country in escalon with one of the largest selections of welded aluminum fishing boats from north river hughes craft and now crestliner chances are they have the right boat for you and did i mention they have a full service center to take care of all your repair or boating maintenance needs if you're a boat owner or just looking to become one you owe it to yourself to check these guys out visit boatcountryusa.com or stop on by we'll see you there Bigger, better, batter. The evolution of the buzz bait is upon us. The evolution baits grass burners, a high performance bass snatcher machine. High end components, inline displacement, larger profile, balanced body for fast or slower retrieves, better deflection, and oversized treble hooks. You wouldn't bring a slingshot to a gunfight, would you? Find out more at evolutionbaits.com. Ever tried pulling a planer board next to your boat when trolling or fishing from a swift current bank? If not, you're missing out on one of the most phenomenal fish catching machines on the market today. With Yellowbird planer boards pulling your lines perpendicular to your boat, you can't help but catch more fish. Find out more by visiting www.yellowbirdproducts.com. 
Did you know that Beeline makes specialized lines for all your fishing needs? From the super strong abrasive resistant CXX or the low stretch super stealthy CX Premium. Or maybe you're looking for invisibility or super bite detection with Beeline's 100% fluorocarbon. No matter what your needs, Beeline's got it covered. To find out more, visit Beeline.com. Beeline, baby! Hey guys, did you know that Jurors Truly is now hosting Lucky Tackle Box's monthly pan fish instructionals? And aside from relentless fish catching, I'll be breaking down the rigging and the gear you need to get going along the way. And of course, a few extra tips to help you score more fish on the goodies included in your box. So remember, the tug is our drug. So go visit LuckyTackleBox.com and get signed up today. Oh, you heard they got weapons of big fish destruction? Well, you heard right. Biwa Fishing Performance is the newest company hit the U.S. market by storm. With some of the sickest swim baits around and non-cookie cutter style lures that you could ever get your hands on, it's time to show these fish something new. Visit BWAP.com. Guys, I uh, want to let you know what we're doing here. We're actually drifting along with the current. The current's pretty much ripping through here pretty good. Uh, typically, what you always hear is you want to fish into the current, so you're bringing your bait down naturally with the current. That, and they're naturally, if they're facing into the current, waiting for the bait fish and whatever else coming through there, it's going to feed right into them. Well, right now, we, me and Nick both decided to pick up a bait. I'm using an underspin. Nick's got a, uh, what, what, X, X, what are you using? 3XD crankbait. 3XD crankbait. And he's, uh, we, we picked these because they're a little bit faster moving baits. That way we can actually fish with the current. We're not burning out our trolling motor. And we, we can actually fish a little more effective because when we were pacing into the current, we weren't going anywhere. And it was going to really lessen our, and Nick's on. Continue, Matt. You're good. <laughs> good giant. Oh, that thing's running like crazy. Not bad. Oh, there you go. Nice. As you can Spotted see, bass <laughs> on the floor. As you can see, that it, you can still catch fish going with the current. We're just needed to use faster baits so that we can continue to fish and have successful casts and be able to fish in the middle of... Oh, I messed up on that part. <laughs> <laughs> Lost my train of thought I was watching you flop around. It's alright. Go ahead and continue, Matt. So anyway, guys, uh, I mean, that's that, and that's the whole the whole idea behind it is we're, we're fishing quicker now, we're covering more bank, and we're not using up our trolling motor. And we're fishing effective still. Maybe not, maybe not ideal, but as you can see, we're better. still catching fish. That's a little better quality. Oh, yeah, nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. Yeah. Well, we're going to continue doing this, guys. <laughs> I'll keep interrupting. Yeah, how about you just uh, go with the fish? I'm going to start Good info, though, Matt. That's absolutely imperative, guys. Um, last time I was out here, I was fighting the current a lot and not fishing with it. I was fishing slower. I was really on a good popper bite, and the whole goal for me was to try to work that popper as much as possible and fast current it's tough so you know i tried facing the current the whole time and that didn't work out and i burned up my trolling motor pretty fast yeah good one wow look at that fish yeah nice one keep her on matt keep her on she is pulling look at this Oh. Wow! <laughs> what a strong fish, dude. Should I swing him? Uh, just land him. Make sure you land him. Look at this fish. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a spot. Oh, oh, man, look at that spot, dude. For the Sacramento River, that is a spot and a half, dude. Look at that. <laughs> dude, he's, almost, he's almost three pounds. That is awesome. Underspin. Wow. Double. That thing absolutely double. Look at that. Look how dark my little <laughs> small he is. That's an absolute stud right there. That is, dude. I that's did the not biggest think... one I've ever caught here. Yeah, that's the far. biggest one I've seen in the sack. Wow. Awesome one. Awesome, awesome. A little better smallmouth there. Woohoo! Did you see the one with him? Yep. <laughs> I'll take her. Dang small mouth are just brutes, man. Dude, he is not bad. Getting a little better size than I did a day or so ago. Oh, oh that's a real good one. Someone went right to the main river, didn't he? 
That'd be a good one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. not a striper there, Nick? I don't know. I didn't see it. Striper. striper. <laughs> I was going to say, he turned out to the river. I don't want him to break off my bait either, so i got to take my sweet time. About a 16-incher. Went straight to the middle of the river again. Yep. Ooh! That's, that, that might be a keeper striper that time. Am I off? Off. Yeah. It's a little bit porcelier than a couple of them we got in there. Oh yeah. There we go. Yep. A little chunkier one, Matt. A little chunkier one. I'll take him. It's a little chunkier. <laughs> Unless he's just behind the bu oh, oh, good fish! That was amazing. That jump was three feet high. Good smallmouth here. Right at the end of that pipe. What, what a jump. What you guys miss is that fish jumped three and a half feet high out of the water behind the boat. Man, they fight so hard. This is what we're out here doing. Fishing these smallies. Even though they're not great big ones, they fight hard, man. There we go. What? That That's awesome. is a good smallmouth right there, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Oh my goodness. That is what we come out here for. Sacramento River smallmouth spots, man. They're not giant, but man, are they fun. We've got over a hundred fish easily on the day. Your, your time's filled with every other cast catching an eight to 10 incher, but then you get these bonus big fish occasionally, and you got a cool picture to hang up at the end of the night. We're out here in an area that's known for largemouth bass fishing, you know, and there's tons of smallmouth to be had just like that. Looks like a pretty good one, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Was a pretty good one? It's all right, we're Famous gonna release him anyway. Famous <laughs> last <laughs> Out here, that is about one out of every 25 fish you might catch. If you're doing it right, it would be about that size. So catching a limit, 12 inch plus bass out here, it's not the easiest thing to do. But it could be done and occasionally you can get those three, three and a half pounders. It's barely hooked. Oh yeah. Oh dude, land that fish. Land that fish, that's a better smallmouth right there. He's coming in swinging now. Oh dude, that's the best smallie of the day. Look at that, yes. Dang. On the popper. That's a three pounder, that's close, it's right there. There he is. Yeah! <laughs> I've been throwing that popper religiously. Awesome. Yeah, what? Religiously. Like 75 dinks, and then you get that. Yeah. Holy. What are it? Wow. Tankosaurus. On the grass burner. Yes. On the grass burner, dude. Look <laughs> at that. Look at that smallmouth on the freaking grass burner, baby. Look at that stud on the grass burner. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome, dude. dude, I just had a big one blow up on it. Yes, it is. It's another keeper, dude. <laughs> so far, good keeper and keeper keeper. That's a big difference for what's been happening. Could be the time too, but I'm going to give the bait credit for sure on this one. 
There we go, guys. That's it for an awesome day out here on the Sacramento River with my buddy Matt Frazier. Hope you guys uh, picked up a few good tips from this. Make sure to hit up Matt on Facebook. Uh, so make sure to subscribe to the show on YouTube. And uh, absolutely appreciate you guys watching InformativeFisherman.com, guys. We'll see you next time. I have a pen. I have an apple. Uh, apple pen. I have a pen. I have.